Hi everyone, this is Jackie from The Face and I, and I wanted to share with you a little boy design. We were at a fair and this little boy walked up and said he wanted his whole face to be a football. Well, my husband is an artist too, and he also face painted with me that day. And he came up with a design that I thought was just ingenious. And, um, you know, we can think of a lot of ways to do a football on a kid's face, but I thought this was really unique, and I wanted to share it with you. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to take my um, a bigger brush, and I think this one here is a number four. Yes, it is. And I'm going to load it with the white. Get it nice and loaded but we don't want it too wet so that it's going to run just want a good amount of color in the brush there and i'm going to come right across the lip area and draw a straight line right across and oh and just go out to the edge of the face because if it overlaps where it's supposed to be that's all fine and dandy because we'll just um, we'll just take our little wet wipe and clean it up. Okay, so we got our white line there. We're going to come just above the eyebrows and we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to try and make this line as straight as possible. Um, and this line can be just a tad thicker than the bottom line that is quite okay and again it doesn't matter how far out you go because we can always wash that off making sure I get a good coating of white there and so there we've got a um, white on the top and white on the bottom now I'm going to reload my brush with white and I'm going to come and connect the two right in the center so that we have a, a side weight H. And right down here as well. And then right up the nose. Like that little space in between the nostrils. And anywhere that you think that it needs a touch up, just go ahead and do that. I think this top could be a little whiter. Okay, I think that's good, and we can always come back and and touch it up a little bit more even after it dries. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I like to lay my brush down with a, um, my brush, my brown down with a brush. You don't have to do that. You can do it with a sponge. I'm just more comfortable using a brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, load my brush with, I have a nice chocolatey color brown here that will do nicely with a football. And we're going to get the brush nice and loaded. I'm going to start with a point up here. And it's okay if it's a point point because it can be rounded off after. And I'm going to draw right down to kind of the edge of the white where I put it. And making sure that comes all the way to the center. And I'm going on my side just to get the lines down on the chisel part of the brush and I'm not liking that because I think it's too round it needs to be in a little okay so there is the top I find it's easier to lay the white down first I tried it the other way and it just did not work so we're going to continue this line here right down to the edge of the mouth area and again on this side 
and of course because I'm working on a head it's easier to I'm just trying to get the basic lines down right now I mean you can do this step with a round brush but here we're going to follow right around the chin line here because you you can see that the the face is very football shaped and we're going to come right around the chin there and right up to meet this one and like i said if it's not the shape you want don't worry about it because you can go back and um touch it up with a baby wipe i'm still fairly new so i uh i find my own ways to do things i'm gonna come right across that bottom line right there just kind of drawn across it so i don't want to make sure i know where my lines are just giving myself a little bit of a guide to go by and keep picking up paint here i just don't want to get my brush too wet because i don't want a bunch of uh runniness going on there either Okay, and just fill this area in. Get it nice and brown there. I really never would have thought of this on my own. My husband just has a lot of, um, he's really creative in that area, so he's, um, not always been a face painter. He's a custom pinstriper. Um, he pinstripes vehicles and does custom uh, airbrush and artistry on vehicles. So, and he's been doing this since he was a kid. So, he really is great with an air uh, with a a paintbrush. And then when I decided to face paint and I decided to do that fair. I was like, you know, I'm really going to need your help. I'm not going to be able to do it by myself because there's going to be a lot of kids. What do you think? And he was like, sure, I'll give it a shot. And um, <laughs> it was awesome. He also did a nice little locomotive on a little boy's face. And I'm going to practice that one before I come bringing it to you because he just did a great job with it. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're filling in these areas that we created um, and trying to just get the football to be brown. Um, I refuse to lift this off from its base, reason being it would be easier to paint that way, but reason being is I can't take a kid's head off and uh, tip it the way I want it, you know. So um, I try and force myself to work with the... Um, shape the angles that I I need to I feel I get better practice that way okay well you can see I went over a little bit there so that area is going to have to be touched up the brown is kind of um I have to keep going back in because I just don't want it too runny and uh it's kind of a sticky consistency right now so I keep adding a little water and like I said you can do this with a sponge if you prefer I just prefer not to round that off a little bit And we are going to outline the whole thing in black so it's really not um, too, too important about the edges. And now we're just going to come in and we're going to fill in these. And like I said, you know, and, and that's the other thing. If it was a kid's face, I wouldn't be coming down over the eyes and just painting in. But being that this is a mannequin head, um, I'm not really going to pay a lot of attention to to that. I'm just going to come right down over everything. And
and you know he did the eyelids and everything of the little boy too I mean it was a great a great thing and he also the little boy wanted his favorite football number written on the cheek so my husband put that in there too and I will show you that as well my favorite football number is 32 and the reason why is because my son was in he played football in high school and his number was 32 and um, my other favorite football number is 24 and that was my other son who played for a different school that was his football number and just to share with you this little story um, <laughs> but uh, one night they the two schools played against each other so it was kind of funny you know brother playing against brother and um, I put them together to stand them next to each other to take a picture and when I read their jerseys the jerseys read two four three two and when I took the picture I never realized it until I got the picture back after it was developed but two four three two was my phone number at the time so I thought that was quite the uh, the funny thing there you know I mean once in a lifetime happening type thing it was pretty cool so I guess they had the football numbers that they uh, they were supposed to you know they were meant to it was kind of neat okay yeah I'm being really careful to keep those white lines as much white as possible so I don't have a lot to touch up so that's why it's taking me a little bit longer I'm sure with a sponge or something you can just bang this right out not a problem so what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to take and um, touch up the white that uh, you know we got a little bit of brown on there so and you know it may not cover it all but you know we do the best we can and um, you know you kind of in order to get that white to really stick out there you really kind of have to put this in in sections um, I don't know I didn't watch my husband that day so I don't really know how you know if he did the whole thing brown I'm not sure how he laid it out I didn't really pay attention because I was painting as well but um, you know you tell him to come up with a design and boom he, he just nails it alrighty so this is looking pretty good to me and I can certainly tell it's a football so I think I did something right and like I said I'm just touching up where I just really feel that the color needs to be stronger and boom there we kind of have our football face shape now we're going to come back in and lay in the um, laces the laces are done in black actually you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually outline it first before we put the laces on that way it'll give the um, it will give the white a chance to dry up a little bit so I'm just loading my uh, mark reed brush and this is a real um, fine one it's a number two and I prefer it for lining because um, it w it's what works well for me so I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna go all the way around the outer edge of the black with a thin line and just enough to make sure that um, you know you've got a nice finish there
I'm sure that there's a million people out there that have done this and thought of this already, but um, <laughs> I'd never seen it. And I still haven't, as, with as much as I surf, looking at um, other people's designs, I've never come across a football face like this. So um, I know that perhaps there's one out there, but I haven't seen it. Okay, so there we go, and that is um, pretty much our football face. I'm going to flick over to the um, picture. Alrighty, there we go. And there I'm flicking back. Now, the lines here, um, I think we'll wait and outline them afterwards. What I didn't realize when I did this is that I should have been doing the um, cross lines, the laces, as I was doing the white. I was thinking something else for laces. So now I've got to go back and try and do that. So we're going to come in with one right across here. And keep picking up that white because we've got to cover the brown so it's got to be nice and strong. I'm going to turn the head the other way because I'm left-handed, so I really want to make sure I get the best coverage I can and my white's running away with me. Let's try and reel that back in. And I can touch that up afterwards with the... Uh, brown. And I think we can get one more. Of course on a real kid you're not going to do this probably, but One more in there. Okay, so there's our laces. I'm just going to touch this bottom one up and make it a little wider. Okay. I'm going to jump back over to my other brush with the black and I'm going to continue outlining all of this um, white that we just did. I'm going to outline the lower line. I'm trying to keep this brush as much on the tip as I can, but it keeps sliding off because of the lip. Oh my. Yeah, I really bit into the white there. <laughs> and again, up here, we're going to come right across. And on this side. And across the top. And I, as you can see, I didn't. I left that open. Um, I'm going to be turning around here. I know you're looking right at my elbow, and I apologize, but uh, I got to have some angles right here, or right? I'm not going to be able to do it as good as it should be. And this was such a cute face. 
Let's go down each side here of that white line. Okay, now we're just going to do the individual laces, put our number on there, and we will be good. Of course, don't just do what I did and stick your finger in it. And there we go. That is pretty much done. It's all outlined. What I'm going to do next is just touch up the um, brown pieces that I, over here in the corner where I got some white. Come back in with that brown. Just touch that up. And down here where I just smudged it with my finger by accident I'm just gonna go over that with a little bit of white boom fixed okay well um here is my football face and um I think we're gonna leave the number off um but I do hope you enjoyed it and um you know hope you're getting a good view of that and um, it was a great idea that my husband came up with, and I, I had fun doing it for you. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to write a comment and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. Have a great day.